Marvel Cinematic Universe Loki Marvel Legends action figure. This is the European exclusive that's pretty sought after right now, just as the US version was sought after back when they released it. And it's still hard to get your hands on it. It's pretty, you know, it's not too expensive now. I think it went down to $40 thanks to the uh, reissue of this, but still hard to get in the US. Just gonna have to get it for uh, double the price, and that's about it. So it's a good figure, it's just very poor articulation, but it's a very nice looking Loki figure and it's cool that they reissued it and gave us a second chance. Hey what's up everybody, Eurorun94 bringing you my action figure and video game haul episode 11. This time we're starting it off with yet another system and it is the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. Very cool, picked it up from the flea market really good pickup only paid 30 bucks for it not bad at all they seem to be going for a little bit more than that i think i've seen them go for about 60 bucks i think the retro store on my street sells it for 70 dollars 65 so 30 bucks is a steal in my opinion uh very nice can't wait to start playing i gotta get some games for it i would love to get super mario kart for it and super mario world but i'm very very excited this got me so excited when i saw it and i bought it so excited to get the super nintendo and now i'm really on the hunt for the nes and lots of other uh handheld nintendo consoles that i'm missing so this is a little trade haul i got i actually traded a figure arts figure i think i traded the rock figure arts figure for these two and the value is pretty much the same i think i got a little better value but he threw in the hobgoblin for free pretty much um so uh he threw it in because the sandman is missing the right arm which is a steal i think because hobgoblin probably you probably get him for 15 bucks 20 bucks he's not that expensive of a build figure but you know for a right arm replacement it's not bad at all all i need is the right arm to sandman and he's complete i do have the alternate head and i do have the hammer and the ball uh hand swap that goes on the left hand so i do have those so he is complete other than the right arm that comes with spider-man 2099 so can't wait to build them and review this figure for sure very nice uh deal right here here we got a flea market haul of video games that i got for pretty decent prices so i got some psp games for a dollar each can't beat that i got star wars the force unleashed got kills on liberation and Star Wars Battlefront 2. This one seems to be heavily scratched, so I didn't really notice that until I started cleaning them, and I don't think it works, so that kind of sucks. But for a bug, I guess I can lose that one. Um, Super Mario Brothers. I didn't get this for an outstanding deal. I got it for 15 bucks, but it's okay. It goes for more than that. I think GameStop still sells it for $30, so uh, it's, it's pretty decent for the box and everything. So I wanted to get it since I just got a 3DS. I wanted to play the original Super Mario on DS. Here it is. So, got that at the same market. Got the original Super Mario Brothers for the uh, NES. Very cool. I just cleaned it so it looks very nice. Looks spectacular because it was filthy. It was dirty. And I just cleaned it. I just got to clean the inside. I didn't get, get a chance to clean it yet. Um, got it for five bucks. Not bad, right? Five bucks at the flea market. And we have GoldenEye, which is kind of banged up on the box with stupid stickers. Uh, but got it for two dollars at the flea market. Then we got World at War on the Wii for two bucks at the flea market. And then Dragon Ball Z Budokai 3. This was the only Budokai game I was missing from my Dragon Ball Z collection of video games. And I had to pay ten bucks for it because nobody would take any less for it at the flea market. So uh, it's a pretty fair price. Uh, it goes for more, a little bit more on eBay, probably 15 bucks on eBay. They're asking 15, they went down to 10, so not bad at all. This you saw with my Game Boy Micro, but I might as well include it because it was, I guess, part of the haul of video games. I got this for free. Got it for free. Uh, he gave it to me uh, with the purchase of the Game Boy Micro, so not bad. All right, a quick shout out to a friend of mine locally here. He started customizing recently and he uh, customized his Iron Man. Knowing that I am a huge Iron Man fan, and he gave it to me for uh, for Christmas, so he just gave it to me about a week ago, and uh, I wanted to put it in, in the video here. So uh, very cool. He sells some of his customs on eBay, uh, so I want to check that out. He is starting out. He actually just started doing this, and it's not that bad at all. I mean, it looks great. Honestly, it looks great. In my knowledge, I don't think he's ever customized before, so. I'm really impressed with his work, you know, especially just starting. I can't wait to see his work years from now. Um, it's, I mean, it's only going to get better from, from here. So very nice looking custom. I like the gold paint he did here in the white. 
uh, very nice so thanks man big thanks to you uh, for uh, for the custom I'm not sure if you want me to say your name in the video so I'm not gonna say your name but uh, so big thanks to my local buddy so I've been wanting this guy for the longest time a loose archangel I do have him mint on card and I cannot bring myself to opening my extra mint on card archangel I just can't do it so I had been hunting a loose one for the longest time either trying to buy it or try and trade for it and luckily I managed to trade for it um, this figure was, uh, he listed it for 50 bucks loose, which is pretty much what he goes for. Uh, he actually goes for more Milton cards. Insane how high this figure went. It's such a nice figure. I just love it. He's using the Bucky Cat mold, the mold that almost every figure is using now. But I love this mold, and it's a nice mold, and I like it. And the wings are just amazing. I love the wings. It's not as good as the STCC version, but it's good enough for me. It's so nice. I remember getting this at retail price when it came out and I never knew it was gonna go up to 80 bucks uh, you know today so the PlayStation 2 slim version in the original box for 60 bucks not the lowest price ever but not the highest either for a system that's in the original box as well it's not bad at all uh, so very cool haul here another good addition to my uh, video game collection indeed. So the loose figures keep coming and this is one of my pickups from Facebook I bought this from Facebook somebody had it up for 25 bucks And I think that's a really nice price considering how this figure melt and pride goes for about 50 bucks So, you know out of the box. I'll take it for 25 uh, He is his value did go up. It's a nice figure as you guys saw in my last haul video I did get the Walmart exclusive Black Panther and actually he's up here and you can see the differences in color there super blue on the new on the uh, older one which i do like it a lot it's not it's not done too you know horribly i like it and yet another video game console this weekend this is all in the same weekend i obtained all these systems pretty insane uh yet again in the flea market and for only ten dollars the original atari 7800 pro system uh, honestly, don't know what they go for. I don't know what their price is. Maybe they go for ten bucks. Maybe they don't. Um, but for ten bucks, I can't pass it up for a video game collection. Uh, comes with two controllers, Atari, Atari on them both. I like that. Um, very nice. Ten bucks at the flea market. Good pickup. So one of my favorite figures uh, made by Hasbro is Marvel Legends Archangel from the Hit Monkey series. It's just a fan. I just love the figure. I like it a lot. The wings are just amazing. I like how big they made it. You could fit all that in the package. It's so cool. But uh, the way he looks with it on is just awesome. The San Diego Comic Con one is a little bit better. It has metallic wings, which is what it's supposed to be. So they kind of didn't have the metallic paint scheme on this one. I guess that's the ex exclusivity of the uh, X Force version. You get some nicer paint. But nonetheless, I'm so happy with this release right here. And then real quick, I got two uh, memory cards here for a dollar each at the flea market. PlayStation 2 memory card and PS1 memory card. Still trying to rub that marker off. But they had stickers on them and then that sticker came off. But oh well. Um, uh, not bad because I just got a PS2. So I got a memory card for it in case I want to play it. And then whenever I get a PS1 for my collection, I got a memory card for it. So might as well get it now. So not bad for a dollar each. Also included was the uh, Best of Marvel Legends wave, the new European Hulkbuster wave, uh, the reissue of Loki. So this is the Loki from that wave, not from the original Avengers wave. I'm not sure what the differences are, but I'm sure there are some minor differences. But I've been trying to get a Loki for the longest time as well. I remember I had him, sold him off, I regretted it. And ever since then, he's been tough to come by for a good price. So his, you know, his value went up. Uh, so I managed to get him off a of trade. You know, same deal with Archangel. So I was passing by the only Kmart that was in my area. Uh, actually, you guys probably may have seen it in one of my hunting videos. Probably the first one I think it was. And I was looking for this one and I didn't find it back then. But now I finally found it. <laughs> last time I went I found it so I finally found the Jen Urso Kmart exclusive they actually had it down to $17.99 they she, she normally goes for $24.99 at Kmart so $17.99 for the exclusive it's you know not bad at all good it's what I was looking for it's what I needed for the collection and she is here so very happy about that in pretty decent condition only has a little box cutter cut on the side there which is pretty common but a so pretty cool pickup there once again going back in time Looking at an older Marvel legend very cool very sought after and a uh, very nice figure this Black Panther is still one of my favorites From Hasbro so 
Very nice figure. I love the paint and the sculpt buggy cat mold all the way, 100%. Love that mold. You know, it works well with Black Panther. So after I thought that McFarlane was going to stop making the 5-inch articulated figures of Walking Dead, they released this random uh, single release of a figure for, it's called Series 10, but there really isn't any other figures in the line um, except for this exclusive Rick Grimes. This is a Walgreens exclusive, so only Walgreens is going to get these, and it's the Rick Grimes where he is in the, you know, constable or police uniform and he has the alternate bloody face when he fights Pete I believe his name is and then he comes with a pistol and then here's the back of the package uh, as you see it's only one five inch figure the rest are these seven inch statues that they uh, have been releasing and then there's a 10 inch Glenn but there's only this Rick Grimes I don't know maybe they're gonna release some more I hope they continue on with this line even though they're pretty bad on articulation they're pretty I like these more than the statues 